All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, because all I have to do is simply move my exponent to the front. So for log 4 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 4 is equal to log 12. Now we obviously want to isolate x here, so to do that I have to get rid of this log 4 by dividing on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log 12 over log 4. Now, log 12, that's equal to log 4 times 3. So now I have this over log 4. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 4 times 3, that's going to equal log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. And this is equal to log 4 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. Now log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So now I have 1 plus log 3 over log 4. Now log 4, that's equal to 2 squared, so I have x is equal to 1 plus log 3 over log 2 squared. And log 2 squared, that's the same thing as 2 times log 2. Now log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. And log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.4771 over 2 times 0 0.301. And this is equal to 1 plus... 0 0.7925, which is equal to 1.7925. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 16 to the power of x is equal to 64 to the power of x. Now, 16, I can rewrite as 4 squared. So now I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 squared to the power of x. Now, 64, I can rewrite as 4 to the power of 3. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as 4 to the power of x squared. 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x squared is equal to 4 to the power of x to the power of 3, because I can switch the places of these two. Now, I'm going to let 4 to the power of x equal to the variable u. So now I have u plus u squared is equal to u to the power of 3. Now to solve this, I'm going to start by factoring out, I'm not, sorry, I'm going to start by subtracting u squared and u on both sides. So these two cancel out, and now I have u to the power of 3 minus u squared minus u is equal to 0. Now I can factor out u, so I have u times u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I can divide this into two parts, u, u equals 0 and u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. So u equals equal 0, this is already a solution. And to solve u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So I'm not going to waste your time 
actually plugging in everything into the quadratic formula, but you should end up getting u equals one plus the square root of five over two. And u is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. So now remember how we set u, four to the power of x equal to u. So first I have four to the power of x equals zero and there's no solution to this because you can't take the power of a number and make it equal to zero. So now I have four to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two and four to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. Well, one minus the square root of five is gonna be a negative number and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it negative. So this is no solution as well. So I have four to the, I'm left with four to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two. And to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have x times log four is equal to log of one, one plus the square root of five over two. Now if I divide both sides by log four, these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log of one plus the square root of five over two over log four. All right, so in this problem, I have seven to the power of x plus eight is equal to eight to the power of x plus seven. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So seven to the power of x plus eight, that's gonna equal seven to the power of x times seven to the power of eight. And a to the power of x plus seven, that's gonna equal a to the power of x times a to the power of seven. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by seven to the power of eight times eight to the power of x. So then these two cancel out and these two cancel out and I'm left with seven to the power of x over eight to the power of x is equal to eight to the power of seven over seven to the power of eight. Now this is the same thing as seven over eight to the power of x is equal to eight to the power of seven over seven to the power of eight. And now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log seven over eight to the power of x is equal to log of eight to the power of seven over seven to the power of eight. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So log of seven over eight to the power of x, I can move x to the power of front. So now I have x times log seven over eight is equal to log of eight to the power of seven over seven to the power of eight. Now log of a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log of seven over eight, that's gonna equal log of seven minus log eight, which is equal to log of eight to the power of seven minus log of seven to the power of eight. Now, if I divide both sides by log seven minus log eight, these two cancel out. And now I have x is equal to seven times log eight, because remember I can move the exponent to the front of both of these, minus eight times log seven over log seven minus log eight. And from here, if you plug in all the values of log eight and log seven into the equation, you get x is equal to negative 0 0.4399. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem two to the power of 25 minus one. So to first start, I'm gonna rewrite two to the power of 25 as two to the power of 24 plus one. And then we have our minus one at the end. And the reason I'm doing this 
and rewriting 25 as 24 plus 1. And so now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 24 plus 1 is going to equal 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. Now, basically, our goal throughout this video is to get to change our values to be as small as possible. So then at the end, we can do whatever we need to do with them to get our final result. So 2, two to the power of 24, how do we simplify this and make it even smaller? I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. And another property of exponents is that if I have something in form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2 is going to equal 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And I have this times 2 minus 1. So now I'm actually going to plug in the actual value of 2 to the power of 12 because 2 to the power of 12 is small enough where we know the value, the exact value of it. So if you guys don't know what 2 to the power of 12 is, well, 2 to the power of 10, you should always remember this as 1024. So 2 to the power of 11 is going to be double of 1024, which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12, which is the value we're looking for, is going to be double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I get 4096 squared times 2 minus 1. And now this is equal to, I'm going to simplify this, 4,000 plus 96 squared times 2 minus 1. And the reason I'm doing this is because 4,096 squared is really hard to calculate by itself. So if we change it with four, to 4,000 plus 96 squared, I can use the property a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is 4,000 and b is 96. So this turns into 4,000 squared plus 2 times 4,000 times 96 plus 96 squared. And I have all of this minus 1. Oh, sorry. All of this times 2 minus 1. Now, 4,000 squared is equal to 16 million. Two times 4,000 is 8,000, and 8,000 times 96 is equal to 768,000. And now I have this plus 96 squared, which is equal to 9,216. And all of this I have times 2 minus 1. So now I'm going to add all these up. So if I add all of these up in the parentheses, I get 16,777,216. So now I have this times 2 minus 1. So if I multiply this by 2, I get 33,554,432. And I have this minus 1, which is equal to 33,554,431. So this is my answer to this problem.